So if you're a beginner and just warming up to the note of oud, well, Urban Oud may be the best option for you. So let's go ahead and review this fragrance now. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page. But that's correct guys, we have a brand new Oud fragrance to my collection. And if you follow my channel and know me, you know I absolutely love the note of Oud. So I'm always down to discover new Oud fragrances. And this one is no obsession. Of course, we're talking about Habibi's New York Urban Oud. Now, Habibi New York is actually a new niche house that I just recently discovered. I actually came across them on Instagram and they actually asked me what bottle that um, I would actually like to review from them. And of course I had to go with Urban Oud, just the name, the bottle and the notes actually intrigued me. And man, I'm so excited to be bringing this one to you guys. But before we talk about this fragrance, let's go over some information about Habibi New York's Urban Oud now. So this fragrance was launched in 2020, so it's actually pretty new. And as far as the retail price goes, this is actually where it really shocked me, guys, because you can pick up a 75 ml bottle like I have in hand for $129. Now, when I saw that price and saw obviously the packaging, it's a niche house, things like that, I was blown away, guys, because with the quality of fragrance you're gonna get with this, and especially the packaging and presentation, it's well worth $129. So definitely a bargain when it comes to that all right so the perfumer is julie plutchett now i did look at her resume and see her creations and stuff but i actually never got my nose on anything that she's created besides this so yeah kind of an unknown perfumer at least for me but she is the nose behind urban Oud. now with all the information out of the way let's go ahead and look at the packaging and presentation you will get with this fragrance so take a look at this absolutely beautiful black and red box, guys. It is has like a 3D effect to it. Of course, you have the Habibi New York logo, which actually is upside down hearts, which is actually very, very interesting. Of course, Habibi New York. On the bottom, you do have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product and see when it was produced. And on this side, you will also see their heart logo with a 3D kind of print. On the back, just some of your notes, which is cool that they list those and some just some information. And this is also an eau de parfum concentration, if you were wondering. And yeah, that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and take this sleeve off. And also on the top, you do have the H for Habibi New York as well. And if you pop the top here, the fragrance is housed into this kind of um, styrofoam kind of seating right there. And it does sit actually very, very snugly, which is nice. Then nothing inside there. but. The box is extremely high quality, guys, and this stuff is absolutely heavy duty and just so sturdy. All right, so take a look at the bottle now, guys. This is a bottle that would absolutely stand out amongst a ton of other fragrances on anybody's fragrance shelf. So this bottle absolutely looks stunning, and I'm always a sucker for gold and black kind of uh, presentation. And of course, that's what you get with this. Eau de Parfum concentration. Like I said, on the top, you do have the H pretty much engraved into this kind of metal heavy duty cap. Nothing inside the cap. And then you also have an H on top of the atomizer. Then on the bottom, we do have a sticker that is not really uh, readable, which is kind of unfortunate. That is my only gripe about the whole packaging and presentation. But overall, very nicely done and extremely heavy. In the top, you have bergamot, cardamom, mandarin orange, nutmeg, and bay rose. In the middle, you have suede, carrot, saffron, jasmine, orris, papyrus, rose, and red wine. In the base, you have gayak wood, agar wood, which is of course oud, cedar wood, patchouli, vanilla, castorium, cystus, light amber, and vetiver. Wow, guys, that is actually a pretty big note breakdown with a ton going on. So let's go and spray this and just remind myself of the opening of Urban Oud. Take a look at this atomizer. Decent atomizer, it's not pressurized, but it does spray out pretty, kind of kind of narrow, but it does spray out a lot. So let's go ahead and see what we get on the opening on this test strip. So on the opening of Urban Oud, it absolutely does have a modern touch to it, hence the name Urban Oud. What they're pretty much going for is like a modernized kind of Oud fragrance for the modern person, so to say. And that is exactly what they got with this fragrance, captured it to a T, guys. But and the opening is extremely fresh. You do get the bergamot and the mandarin orange alongside a very clean, slightly sharp rose in the opening of this fragrance as well. 
but it also does have a spicy touch from of course the nutmeg and the cardamom. So you do have a lot going on in the top of this fragrance. It is actually very complex. It's not linear at all. And it does change quite a bit as it starts to dry down. But in the opening, extremely fresh, a little bit citrusy, but you also get a ton of that rose and a nice spiciness giving it a little bit more character in the background. Now, once that does settle for a good hour or so is when it starts to actually come to life, so to say, especially for me. In the middle of this fragrance, you do get that suede and it is kind of like a, um, a furry kind of suede. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm not usually the biggest fan of suede fragrances. I much prefer leather, but it definitely depends on how it's blended together with other notes. And in this one, the suede is done very nice. Now, alongside the suede, you do also get that spicy saffron note that comes along uh, pretty much alongside the uh, nutmeg and the cardamom, which works beautifully, guys. Now there is one note in this fragrance that is actually pretty unique and kind of surprising, and that is the red wine note. And to be honest with you, the red wine note is very, very dominant, especially in the middle of this fragrance. I honestly mostly get the suede, the saffron, and the red wine. Now, if you remember when I listed the notes, there is also carrot in here, which I've never seen carrot in any other fragrance in my life, but the carrot does kind of come through in the base of the fragrance, but it's more of like an earthiness kind of um, carrot that's been in the ground for a while. That's kind of how it comes across to me. But man, that middle is very nice with the red wine and the saffron and the suede. Now, I know I haven't mentioned the oud yet because the oud doesn't actually come into play until pretty much the base and the very dry down of this fragrance. But you do definitely get oud, hence the name Urban Oud. So don't be misled by that. The oud is there. But it's actually not your traditional kind of funky barnyardy kind of pungent oud it's not that it's just a very woody kind of dry earthy kind of oud but that also goes alongside the patchouli which i'm a huge fan of patchouli and oud are probably are definitely my top three favorite notes of all time so those go hand in hand perfectly in the dry down of this stuff guys but also, like I said, that carrot does come into play, but it actually kind of um, balances out with the patchouli, giving an uh, earthiness to this composition. But wow, guys, absolutely stunning fragrance from Habibi New York. And they did oud very nicely. They also do have some other oud offerings because they actually sent me out a couple of samples. They have desert oud. They also have like honey and tobacco oud, which is a phenomenal kind of tobacco, honey, gourmand warming fragrance, which I love that one as well. But this one is definitely my favorite. I'm glad I chose this one out of all of the samples. I am extremely pleased with Urban Oud, guys. Stunning, stunning release from Habibi New York. And it also does come across extremely Middle Eastern, guys. It's 100% a Middle Eastern fragrance, obviously from the rose and the oud. I do want to touch note on that castorium note, which of course is an animalic note. And using when castorium is used in fragrances, it might ruin it for you because sometimes it can't come across like urine. Um, it definitely depends on how it's done, but in this, honestly, I'm not getting any castorium whatsoever, even in the base of this fragrance. I'm just left with a nice earthy woodiness. And then you have that creamy vanilla as well, but it's not dominant by any means, guys, in the base of this. But all in all, amazing launch. So seasons I think will work best with Urban Oud is definitely the spring, fall, and winter, guys. is 100% the best for this fragrance because... It would absolutely work really good in the springtime because you have that nice kind of fresh, airy opening alongside the floral rose, which is very dominant, so perfectly for the spring. And it's also not a very heavy kind of um, dense fragrance. I would not say it's that at all, even with the base in the middle of this. It is all in all an airy kind of uh, DNA fragrance. So yeah, perfect in the spring, also perfect for the fall and winter because it's very earthy, very woody and leathery as well. So and slightly spicy too. So yeah, perfect for all three of those seasons. Right, so for gender of Urban Oud, I'm honestly not sure if this is targeted towards men or if it's unisex, but to me, from my nose guys, this is 100% unisex fragrance. A woman can definitely pull this off just as much as a man because there's nothing really masculine about it, nothing really feminine about it, just right down the middle. And even though it's an Oud fragrance, but like I said, it doesn't come across pungent, that earthy or dirty. It just comes across very woody and I guess slightly earthy, but yeah, both sexes can definitely pull Urban Oud off 100%. So for occasion that I would actually wear this fragrance, I would definitely stay towards the formal side of things because it does have a, um, a dress up appeal to it. It's very 
classy, it's very sophisticated, and it would just work perfect for a suit and tie kind of event. Because obviously you do have the red wine note, which does give it a more mature lift to the composition. And I just picture myself being dressed up rocking this one. But of course, I like to tell you guys at the end of the day, you can wear any fragrance to any occasion in any season. I'm just telling you what I picture myself or what kind of occasion and situation I'd be wearing each fragrance and definitely more suited for a formal event over a casual situation. So let's wrap things off on the performance. Now, honestly, the performance was a little bit more lackluster than what I was expecting, of course, from a oud based fragrance because most of the time, oud heavy fragrances last a very long time and the performance is usually definitely above average. But in terms of urban oud guys, um, it, I would say it's about average performance. I get around eight hours or so of longevity and somewhat of a solid projection for around three to four hours. And then after that, it does start to settle down closer to the skin where if you're around people, they're gonna definitely have to come very close to your scent bubble to be able to pick up the, on the fragrance. So yeah, average performing fragrance, I was expecting a little bit more being a oud based fragrance, but at the end of the day, it's not the worst. So with Urban Oud, I'm absolutely happy with this fragrance because like I said, Oud's my favorite note of any notes, guys. I am obsessed with the note of Oud. And Urban Oud is extremely unique. I don't have any other Oud or even Oud rose-based fragrances in my collection that smell quite like this. So Hubby B New York definitely outdid themselves when it comes to the unique nace because at the end of the day, to make a rose Oud combination unique, it's extremely hard because that combination is absolutely saturated in the fragrance community. So they did a fantastic job when it comes to that. But that's gonna wrap up my review of Habibi New York's Urban Oud. Let me know down below if you've actually tried this fragrance or if you've ever heard of the house and you tried anything else from them. I'm always curious to know. But as always, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.